Oh, hey guys, Steve from the Tech Buzz Gaming, and I have a pretty awesome unboxing for you today. And as you guys know, arcades are kind of like my passion project. I don't do a lot of content on them, but emulation, emulated devices, devices that look like the real thing, but I can't own them. Well, let's take a look at it right after this. All right, first things first, you guys can see that uh, this is the Berserk cabinet from New Wave Toys. And before we go any further, I have to let you know that, yes, this was sent to me for purposes of review and we're gonna dive into it and see what it does. As New Wave Toys always does, they do things really well. And one of the things that you can see is the packaging. Now this comes within a box, within a box, within a box. A lot of people, like myself, we collect these boxes here. And so I usually put them in my arcade one-ups in the bottom so that uh, keeps it nice. But one of the things that they've done in here is they added some new PCB action. We're gonna check that out as we get into this. But also the real coin mech. Now you guys have seen this in the other videos that I've done with the, the Coke machine where you can stick that in and it gives you credits. Well, this is actually working on the arcade. So I'm pretty stoked about this. This has Berserk and Frenzy, probably a two button combination that'll allow you to get into both games, but this is the actual Berserk cabinet. It's officially licensed by Atari. Um, if you guys remember, the game was originally um, licensed from Stern and then Atari took it over. So anyways, you guys, you guys know that. I'm not gonna get into all that. Uh, so let's dive in and let's take a look at it. Now, one of the things I don't, I, you know, I don't do with this because this plastic is pretty, pretty good when it comes to tearing it off, is the fact that uh, I don't use a knife on it, and because I don't want to damage the box, usually if you just um, work within the th the seams that are on it, and in New Wave Toys fashion, you get a lot of emboss on the uh, box. So let's open this up. And for those that have times where they struggle opening this, there's a little flap. Usually it's on the right-hand side. You just kind of do one of these numbers and it opens up. And like New Wave toy fashion, you get foam. Okay, nothing else to see here. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. New Wave toys, just kidding. Um, you get a booklet. Looks like there's a kick panel plate inside there. Some coins, a faux plug. Looks like some stickers, the manual, which is cool um, because they usually do the manual just like they do um, like the originals. And then it looks like uh, a lockdown bar. Um, if you remember in some of the arcades, they would have this lockdown bar. It would go over top of where the coin door was to prevent anybody from stealing, well, money. So they give you these. We'll check these out in a bit. And then you also get this. This is, you can never have too many of these, especially in my mini arcade that I have over there. Um, it's a USB to USB-C cable. So we have that available to us as well. Now let's get out the star of the show. Now apparently too, they have a new 2.0 CRT filter. Now if you remember in some of the older versions of I think it was 1942, um, they had the CRT filter on it. And uh, well, it wasn't that great. Most people didn't like it. So now this one has the new 2.0 and we're gonna take a look at it here in just a few seconds. All right, you can see here in all its glory. Uh, one thing that they did do differently is the control panel seems like it's like an aluminum on top it feels different than the other ones I, I almost thought it was a separate piece here um, inside of the plastic but maybe it's not looks different looks different to me anyways well let's let's power this up if those that don't know you got your volume rocker up on top and you've got your power we're gonna power this baby on Let's see if there's a charge. Yeah, the light's coming on. 
Let's see what happens here and see if we get any kind of power on the system. Maybe it needs to be charged, which is fine too. Oh, nope, there we go. So there you've got your New Wave Toys rep, uh, Presents. You've got the Atari, as we spoke about earlier. And um, you have your working coin door that opens up. And there's even a slot inside here that you can see that you can put your coins in because uh, most people like even myself are not going to use the real coins to stick in with the mechanism because you're going to need to use tweezers like I had to do on the other the other device now I will say with the new wave toys the marquee has a, a very retro look to it almost like the light that they're using is very different than what they've used in other cabinets um, right first and foremost right out the gate and the printing that they used on the side is not a, like your typical graphic it almost looks like the graphic is burned into or infused into the wood on the side I, I don't know what you would call that but it's not a graphic like you can't peel it off so that's kind of interesting on the back you do have a, the faux lock on the back you got your speaker and you got your warning signs like you do before. You also got some warning here. The power right here, this is for that faux plug that New Wave Toys gives you. So New Wave Toys gives you this faux plug and it's just a plastic piece. You just slide it into the hole and there you go. It, that's, it's just aesthetics, that's all it is. It doesn't do anything. Um, you have your USB 2.0. One and two, so if you want to hook up a USB controller, you can. And then you have your charge USB-C, and then you have your HDMI out to a TV. If you're like me and you're older and playing with big hands on a small machine is not practical. But you want to play the game because you like the game, that's a good way to do it. Um, hooking it up to a, another screen. Now, one of the things that they touted, it says press here. We're going to press there. A door opens up and you have the PCB right inside here. Again, attention to detail. The light only comes on when the door opens, like your refrigerator, right? But they did a fantastic job with that PCB, making it look real. There's a track that it goes on inside of here that you can slide it in. I mean, do they need to do this? No, but I'm glad they do. Um, so you have that there. And then the lockdown bar, you can see there's holes for it there let's add it here i believe um it's gonna go let's see here i think it goes i think it goes this way the lock at the bottom it's magnetic so again it's just aesthetics that's all it is so you roughly put it like that that's where it lines up um based on the holes there we go and, and then you got that there and then uh like i said it comes with a, a, a kick panel just again more aesthetics it's got the three millimeter tape or 3M tape, you can put it right on the bottom. I'll probably put it on, make it look just like the original cabinet and have it on and uh, see how it is. Now, one thing I'm not going to do right now, um, they did give some more Atari stickers and some stickers for instructions. Um, I'm not gonna put them on just yet. And they're saying, warning, big black bat top, which is this one, because you can unscrew these and put them on. It says, it's only for display. Do not play with it. It's probably like the banana from Food Fight where it it's you could probably snap it off. So it's not recommended to do that. So uh, very cool, though they do give you that inside the package. Well, just like always, they give you four coins that you can use. I'll probably just stick them in the tray. But let's take a look at some gameplay. All right, we got the volume up. And if you don't have... If you're not going to use the coins, I'm going to lift this up. You can actually press this button and that will act like you're putting coins in it. And that sounds pretty cool. This was one of the first games that had any kind of uh, voice modulation, I guess would be the best way to put it. So I didn't grow up with this this game but it's pretty cool if you're if you're uh 
if you're in the arcades, uh, you don't want to hit the walls. That's one thing you don't want to do, which I just did. And you want to shoot these, these bots. You want to shoot the robots. and whatever forces are coming at you. Ooh, he's gonna get me. All right, so now I think if we, usually with New Wave toys, if you press and hold, yeah, if you press and hold player one and player two, you get access to the dip switch menu where you can uh, adjust the marquee, um, and things like that. Uh, let me see here. If I go up to the top, let's see here. Yep, if you hit the fire button on it, you can choose if you want Frenzy, which is the successor to Berserk, um, or you can go down and hit return. But you can go into these dip switches and you can turn off the marquee if you want. You can choose the ambience of it, uh, scan lines, all that stuff. Most of the stuff that you know tells you your battery, most of the stuff that none of us really do and then you just use the two buttons to get you back so overall it's a pretty cool machine I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped with it um, what do you think is this a game that you're gonna pick up do you have nostalgia for berserk leave a comment below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time keep it buzzing